BWParts.com. This old welder. Plugs in right here to your solenoid. Now there's two different types of solenoid, like I said, like I said earlier. This one connects to the wire, the other one connects directly up to it. We have a little jumper wire that comes with your kit um, for the, the aftermarket solenoid. Now this plugs in, it doesn't matter how you plug it in. You can flip it this way or you can have it switched the other way. It doesn't matter where positive or negative, which wires hook up which way. It, either way is fine. Um, this is your low idle bracket that's installed there. Pretty simple, comes with a bolt, comes with a spacer. Put them together. There's just a little gap in there. You'll see it once you get in there. Install this in there. Up here for this top bolt, you want to pull that off and use your existing bolt. It goes right through here. Install that. Easy to go. You should already have your solenoid on there before you put it on there. You can do it afterwards, but it's just easier to have it on. Right here is where your plunger goes in. It comes over, connects. This is your R57 linkage. You're going to pull the other linkages that are on there. You should be able to do it with a flat blade screwdriver. They'll just un unthread and you slide them off and you slide our R57 adapter on there. Now what you want to do, let me pull this off real quick. To set this up, you have it loose and when you hook this on here, you want to have a slight gap just before this, this piece touches that stop right there. After you get that right where you need it, it should be clocked in this direction, facing that way. You tight, get your Allen wrench that comes with your kit and tighten that up. Now that that's tight, you hook up your linkage here, your, your solenoid arm. It plugs right into your solenoid. And you want to make sure that when you space this R57 adapter out, however you have it, you don't want to have binding on there. So either way, you don't want it too far in or you don't want it to, if it's too far out, it's going to not going to want to let go. It's not going to, you want this to operate freely in here. So you take your screw, comes with your kit, run that through there, put the nut on the back and tighten it up. Obviously, you're going to want to tighten them better than I tighten them. I'm just doing them finger tight just for the sake of show. But you want to have them tight. But this one, you don't want to have it so tight. You want to, this one doesn't, you want to have all the way tightened down. You just want to have it tight enough to where it holds this together and it will still slide freely. Like that. So you're probably wondering, Adam, what are these right here? These slots in this, this linkage arm. Well, those are your adjustments also for, to adjust the low idle. We've adjusted this arm for the high idle. For your carburetor, but now we need to adjust it for your low wire. So what you want to do, pull that all the way in. Okay? This piece you want to have all the way in to where it stops. Because whenever you run this low idle system, you don't want it to be out a little bit too far. You want it to be all the way in. Now this right here, this linkage right here, you want to have that all the way down to where that's touching, but you want to set your idle speed and make sure it's at a thousand RPM. That's your optimum idle speed is a thousand RPM. So once you have that set where this is touching, you're at a thousand RPM, this plunger is all the way in, you tighten these up. You never have to touch them again. You set them and forget them. You never have to worry about it. And whenever you let go, it just bounces right back, it comes right back. So basically the way this system works, it's a glorified magnet. It has a PC board that controls it with power puts power and ground to this, that comes all the way from the PC board and your starter, all the way throughout the system, and it pulls that in with magnetized power. Now when you strike an arc, it senses it up at the front, and the governor is constantly fighting against your low idle solenoid. So it doesn't push anything out, nothing's pushing anything, this doesn't push out, it just pulls in. When, you let, when it releases, you drop the ground, that's where your PC board comes in and you sense power, it drops your ground, releasing that, and this governor pulls it exactly where you want to be at speed wise, which is on a black face 1550 RPM, and on a, a red face I believe it's 1450, and a short hood it's 1400, depending on what your unit says, but it says it right on the front faceplate. So there you go.
That's our installation of our low idle system available.